Christian McBride finally got to play on the same bill with his hero. It happened at the Montreux Jazz Festival in 1993. That was the thrill of a lifetime. And of course, being a James Brown scholar, while we were playing, you know, I could see like Danny Ray and Martha High and all of these, you know, James Brown veterans on the side of the stage. He was introduced to Martha High and began to work Brown's camp in hopes of sparking a collaboration. Martha High was the mother hen of the James Brown organization. She was really the person to know if you really wanted true entry into the James Brown world. This courtship lasted years and culminated with an invitation to James Brown's Christmas party in 1996. So we're sitting there having dinner. I'm sitting there quiet as a mouse, just, you know, I mean, it was just, it was out of the blue. He says, uh, Mr. McBride. <gasps> yes, Mr. Brown. You know, y'all know Mr. McBride's been uh, contacting me about doing this project. Now tell me more about this, son. What, what, what you want to do? So I gave him this whole thing, how much you love jazz, and I know that your special brand of funk was infused by jazz values, you know, improvisation. He, he just kind of, he sat there, he just went, y'all see that? Now that young man knows the stuff. He studied jazz, Brown. Now see, I appreciate that, son. You're doing your homework. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I've been telling all my friends that I know the great Christian McBride. Got, got your records, been checking you out. He said, well, enjoy the party, son. I was like, okay. About three hours later, uh, party's over. People are starting to leave. And um, I take a picture with Mr. Brown and Miss High. Right before the camera clicks, James Brown leans over and he says, uh, you don't fool me, son. I said, excuse me? He says, I'm hip to you. I know what you're doing. You don't think I know, but I, I, I know what's happening. I'm going, what? What are you talking about? Don't give me that. You know, you try to take Miss Hyde from me. <laughs> you try to take it for your own organization. I was like, no, no, I'm not, Mr. Brown. He said, son, I think you misunderstood something. I ain't making no record with you. I don't make no records with nobody. If this record is going to happen, it's going to be a James Brown record with Chris McBride as a guest, not a Chris McBride record with James Brown as a guest. And another thing, that record of yours ain't nothing. You can't play no bass. Who told you you got talent? You, you ain't nothing, son. You can't play no bass. 